the Sedgefield Cup hurdle is next then. And it's a three mile, three furlong handicap hurdle. Don't get too many handicap hurdles this long. And philosophical for Ryan Tamasevi at the top. Westmore, Russia, Martin Liddell, Strong, Wigmore, James Shea, Lady Tinkerbell, Jim Murray, Mercury Rising, Craig Beckwith, Lady Matilda, Jim Murray, Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers, Mighty Black, Grant Clutterbuck, Hyacinth Kalapa, Darren Thompson, and Scenario Woodfire for Thomas Rogers. So 10 then. This time, I can't think there'll be many hurdle races longer than this one. Then away and racing. And Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell. The two Jim Murray ladies are first and second. With Westwire Rush on the inside in third. And Mighty Black and Mercury Rising. Hyacinth Calapa after that one. Coming down to the first then. As they're all safely over. And as you can imagine, a three mile, three furlong hurdle. They're not going all that quickly. And the top weights here, Philosophical and Westwire Rush, are going to struggle, I think, to give the weight away. But they're over the second. And Lady Matilda is the leader by a couple to Lady Tinkerbell in second. And then Hyacinth Kalapa is third. The green jacketed ring of esteem closest to us is after that one. And then Mer Mighty Black and Mercury Rising. They've all successfully negotiated the first three flights. And they're making their way towards the fourth of the 15 that they'll take in all. Quite a long one to the fourth as they take that turn and bypass the plane fence, which has been doled off. And Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell then. First and second with Mighty Black third. And just after that is Ring of Esteem. And Westwide Rush, Hyacinth Kalapa. Scenario Woodfire, Mercury Rising, Stroll Wigmore. Finally, the top white philosophical is just the back market, but a long way to go yet, and they get over flight number four without any mishap. And Lady Matilda, undisputed lead, all about two lengths or so. It's over flight number five, which will be the final flight in. Another two circuits time. I'm going to go around another twice yet. And Lady Matilda's in front. We'll be hoping to pass that winning post in the lead another twice. With Lady Tinkerbell back in second. Mighty Black third. Westmire Rush in a purple jacket. Men move up on the inside in fourth. Then Ring of Esteem and Mercury Rising and Hyacinth Kalapa. And then Scenario Woodfire Stroll with more. And finally, Philosophical. Interesting to see. The business end of the race, which ones of these can last out for a full three mile three furlongs? Imagine most of the time they've been running over three mile, or maybe three mile one. And there's possibly one or two of these that have had a spin round over hurdles over three miles to get a handicap mark and really a three, three and a half mile chaser, so that could come into it as well. They take the sixth, and the leader didn't take it all that well. And the stable companion, Lady Tinkerbell, has now decided to take, a, take over in front. Matilda doesn't seem to be overly keen on that idea and is fighting back to regain the initiative and has successfully done so then. So it's Lady Matilda on the inside of Lady Tinkerbell. Get back to Mighty Black and then Mercury Rising. And Westmire Rush and Hyacinth Kalapa Stroll Wigmore. Philosophical getting a bit closer around the outside as they take number eight. That was the middle flight. And Tinkerbell just in front of Matilda from the two ladies then. With Mighty Black back in third and Mercury Rising fourth. And then Stroll Wigmore. With Hyacinth Kalapa. Scenario Woodfire still just the back marker. Philosophical although he's just dropping back in a little bit under his big weight. And Lady Matilda and Lady Tinkerbell have disputed the lead throughout the race. Lady Matilda has been the one in the lead most of the time. Lady Tinkerbell just poked her head in front. Once or twice, but Lady Matilda looks to be the one that's going to continue to lead as they get over number nine. But now Lady Tinkerbell comes up on the outside again. And Chimbury will be hoping at least they're actually helping each other out and not hindering each other by taking each other on. Only taking each other on in the sense of going too quickly though. As they get over number 10 and pass the stand again. And Lady Matilda. It's got a natural way of poking her head in front when it comes to the winning post. That might be 
fortunate next time round as Lady Matilda is the leader again as they go on their final circuit. So Lady Matilda in the lead, then a Lady Tinkerbell second. Mighty Black is third and Strong Wigmore is four. Then Hyacinth Clapper is five and Westbourne Rush is six. And then Mercury Rising is seven and then a gap to Ring of Esteem, Philosophical and finally Scenario Woodfire. So into the final mile they go. And the Jim Murray pair are still in the lead. First and second, but the pack are beginning to close with Mighty Black in third and Hyacinth Clapper looking to be going well on the outside in fourth. Strong Wigmore's nicely covered up in fifth. And they get back to Mercury Rising and Westwire Rush with the Ring of Esteem just being pushed along as they get over number 11. And that time Lady Tinkerbell jumps it better than the stable mate Lady Matilda, but Lady Matilda is going better on the flat. Lady Matilda gets back into the lead again. Lady Matilda, Lady Tinkerbell, over the 12th they go. Then comes Stroll Wigmore jumping up in the third, and now Stroll Wigmore is going to break up that Murray domination of 1 2 because Lady Matilda is being pressed on the inside by Stroll Wigmore. Lady Matilda then being pushed along in the lead. Stroll Wigmore cruising in second. Lady Tinkerbell coming under pressure over the 13th they go. Just two more flights to take now then. And Stroll Wigmore hits the front. Stroll Wigmore takes it up from Lady Matilda, who's trying to battle back on the inside. Lady Tinkerbell is back in third, being taken on by Hyacinth Calapa. Then comes Mighty Black Ring of Esteem. He's after that one, but it's Stroll Wigmore. Lady Matilda is fighting back on the inside, doesn't want to be denied. And Lady Matilda gets back into the lead. It's Lady Matilda from Stroll Wigmore in second. Lady Tinkerbell's trying to run on again. So is Hyacinth Calapa. Suddenly, Lady Matilda looks like she might have beaten off Stroll Wigmore. Just two more flights to take. And Lady Matilda is eating up the ground in the lead. She's gone too clear again. Lady Matilda from Stroll Wigmore in second. Lady Tinkerbell and Hyacinth Clapper over the second last. A bit of a slower jump this time though by Lady Matilda. And now Lady Tinkerbell's got second win. It's the Jim Murray pair again back in front first and second. Lady Matilda coming out towards the final flight. Stroll Wigmore's trying to run on again. Hyacinth Clapper back in fourth. Over the final flight they go. Lady Matilda in front from Lady Tinkerbell. Then Stroll Wigmore and Hyacinth Clapper. And now Lady Tinkerbell's beginning to get up on the outside. Side. Lady Tinkerbell's going to steal it. Hyacinth Calapa finishing fast, but Lady Tinkerbell wins it. Hyacinth Calapa second, Lady Matilda third, Strong Wigmore fourth. Westwire Rush ran on at the end, but Lady Matilda led all the way, just about taken on by Strong Wigmore, and then Lady Tinkerbell came and stole it on the line, or in the shadow of the line anyway, with Hyacinth Calapa running on well into second. So, if you'd have doubled up the ladies, you'd have won. And did Jim Murray know which one was going to win? It looked like Lady Matilda for most of the way, but Lady Tinkerbell, under a much bigger weight, takes it for Jim Murray. Hyacinth Calapa for Darren Thompson was second. Lady Matilda for Jim Murray third. Stroll Wigmore for James Shea was fourth. And Westmore Rush under a big weight was fifth.